is Richard McEwen. I'm, uh, my highest rank was lieutenant, but I achieved that uh, after I left the active uh, Navy and uh, was spent two years in the reserve. Well, one thing, uh, we'd have picnics, and uh, those were organized uh, shipboard by the division officers. And usually those were port and starboard. Half the crew would go on a, you know, a one day, and then the next day we'd uh, send the other half. So I would say most of the uh, social, social uh, activities were organized by the ship itself. We also had entertainers come on board, you know, I guess. Uh, I'm trying to think, Bob Hope came aboard. The, uh, the, we had uh, singers and other entertainers uh, come on board from time to time, especially when we were in the med. And, uh, and of course, uh, the ship store made a lot of money selling stuff. And uh, when we were back in Norfolk, I remember one time we had uh, had a, a big party. Uh, and uh, we had a famous uh, band uh, and provided the music, plus had singers and everything. Anyway, one of the uh, uh, one of the columnists for uh, New York Times, or I guess uh, <laughs> uh, also uh, had a radio show, complained about the uh, the U.S. Navy spending all this money to hire this uh, famous band, <laughs> when in fact it was all the crew's money. So, <laughs> but uh, you yeah, know, we got uh, uh, and I, you know, I think. Uh, when I took that cruise across uh, around South America, you know, uh, we had uh, onshore parties thrown by the locals uh, at every stop. But that was that was more of a show the flag uh, uh, trip, and uh, so we, you know, that was something special. You know, I, we didn't see that uh, as much in the med. I think because uh, the, the, the med, the, the the fleet was always there. <laughs> Uh, and they'd play uh, baseball or football or some sports. Uh, I know the one party I, uh, I remember from uh, when we were in the med, we didn't really have those when we were so much uh, back in port, except this one big party I mentioned. But uh, I guess uh, the crew tried to get the uh, officers like myself and the Division, I guess the assistant uh, A division officer, drunk. <laughs> they were successful with the with my assistant. Uh, I guess I I remained sober, <laughs> but I was shocked when uh, they carried him aboard, <laughs> and we tried to get him below deck before uh, our boss could see him. <laughs> that wasn't successful. <laughs> So, but then the other thing that went wrong with that party is that uh, my assistant was uh, responsible for uh, renting the bus, and uh, for some reason, uh, I guess he, uh, we uh, canceled one of the, we ordered a bus and then canceled it, and we ended up having you know, two buses come for, <laughs> at the same time. <laughs> that, that caused the problem, I guess. I think we got out of paying for the second bus, but just barely. One party, though, I did get to go to uh, when my wife was there was uh, uh, the commander of uh, Sixth Fleet. Uh, threw, he had a, a, a accommodation ashore, and uh, one time when he was in, uh, his ship was in port, uh, he threw a party for locals, I think, as well as uh, members of the high, you know, officers of some of the ships. And uh, I got invited along with my wife, and uh, she was the one that was <laughs> the one that was responsible because he wanted some females present. <laughs> so uh, that was, I never would have been invited otherwise as a uh, Lieutenant JG. <laughs> uh, well, just a regular party, you know, I guess people uh, sitting around talking, just a kind of a cocktail party, I would say, more than anything else. It wasn't a, and it wasn't that many uh, there. I would say maybe uh, two dozen at the most.
There is one social event that we had. Let me uh, tell you about that. You know, uh, back in Norfolk, uh, they always had uh, maybe once a year a cruise for uh, the uh, wives and families uh, of the crew. And that was always fun. Well, everybody got to invite, uh, invite their, I guess, I guess even you could, your, some of your relatives, especially on board the Forest Hall, or a ship like the Forest Hall, because you could, well, you know, I guess smaller ships had smaller crews to invite, so that really wasn't a problem, but uh, everybody really enjoyed it. It was just to uh, just go out and cruise around, and, uh, you know, they could go, they could go tour all the spaces in the ship and see what it's like. You know, I remember, uh, I remember one incident. Uh, it wasn't, it didn't have to do with the forest hall, but uh, had to do with the navy in general. Uh, I think the battleship uh, New Jersey got stuck in Hampton Roads, uh, and it was there to, for uh, the army outside the army base there. So it was really. Uh, uh, not too uh, good publicity for the for the Navy. In fact, uh, and I learned later, I uh, had a friend who was stationed in Annapolis, and uh, one of the officers there that uh, was assigned shore duty for the rest of his crew career, career was they nicknamed Old Mud Bottoms. <laughs> but they finally took him took him about uh, at least a week to get it off. <laughs>